Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for June 10th, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. Happy birthday, AA, and party June 10th, 1935. AA thoughts for the day. Anger. Then the miracle happened, to me. It isn't always so sudden with everyone, but I ran into a personal crisis which filled me with a raging and righteous anger, and as I fumed helplessly and planned to get good and drunk and show them, my eye caught a sentence to the book lying open in my bed. We cannot live with anger. The walls crumbled and the light streamed in. I wasn't trapped. I wasn't helpless. I was free, and I didn't have to drink to show them. This wasn't religion, this was freedom. Freedom from anger and fear. Freedom to know happiness and love. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 228. Thought to consider. Anger is the hot wind that extinguishes the light of reason. Acronyms. Nuts. Not using the steps. Just for today. Beginning from two alcoholics meet. I have placed both operation and myself in God's hands. I am going to do what it takes to get sober and stay that way. Just before they stopped at the hospital where Dr. Bob was to perform surgery, Bill, who also had his practical side, gave him a bottle of beer. The bottle of beer Bill gave him that morning was the last drink that he, Dr. Bob, ever had. Although arguments have been and will be made from other significant occasions in AA history, It is generally agreed that Alcoholics Anonymous began there in Akron on that date, June 10th, 1935. 1980, Dr. Bob and the Good Old Timers, page 74-75. Daily Reflections Impatient Try levitating We reacted more strongly to frustrations than normal people, as Bill sees it, page 111. Impatience with other people is one of my principal failings. Following a slow car in a no-passing lane or waiting in a restaurant for the check drives me to distraction. Before I give God a chance to slow me down, I explode, and that's what I call being quicker than God. That repeated experience gave me an idea. I thought if I could look down on these events from God's point of view, I might better control my feelings and behaviour. I tried it, and when I encountered the next slow driver, I levitated and looked down in another car and upon myself. I saw an elderly couple driving along, happily chatting about their grandchildren. They were followed by me, bug-eyed and red of face. We had no time scheduled to meet anyway. I looked so silly that I dropped back into reality and slowed down. Seeing things from God's angle of vision can be very relaxing. As Bill sees it, whose inventory? We do not relate intimate experiences of another member unless we are sure he will approve. We find it better when possible to stick to our own stories. A man may criticise or laugh at himself and it will affect others favourably, but criticism or ridicule aimed at someone else produces the contrary effect. A continuous look at our assets and liabilities and a real desire to learn and grow by this means are necessities for us. We alcoholics have learned this the hard way. More experienced people, of course, in all times and places have practised unsparing self-survey and criticism. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 125, from the 12 and 12, page 88. Big Book Quote We will seldom be interested in liquor. If tempted, we recoil from it as if from a hot flame. We react sanely and normally, and we will find that this has happened automatically. We will see that a new attitude towards liquor has been given us without any thought or effort on our part. It just comes. From Alcoholics Anonymous Interaction, page 84. 24 hours a day. A thought for the day. If we had some moral, religious or spiritual training, we'd better, we're better prospects for AA. When we reach the bottom at this crucial point, when we're thoroughly licked, we turn instinctively to whatever decency is left in us. We call upon whatever reserves of morality and faith are left down deep in our heart. Have I the spiritual experience? Meditation for the day. The world wonders when it sees a person who can unexpectedly draw large and unsuspected sums from the bank, 
for some emergency. But what the world has not seen are the countless small sums paid into that bank, earned by faithful work over a long time. And so is the bank of the spirit. The world sees the person of faith making a demand on God's stores of power and the demand is met. The world does not see what that person has been putting in, in thanks and praise, in prayer and communion, in small good deeds done faithfully, steadily over the years. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may keep making deposits into God's bank. I pray that in my hour of need, I may call upon these. Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name's Craig, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.